This is it. Zite has released a number of dummy batteries so you can power your camera directly from the RS2 gimbal. Here I have the Pocket LPE6 version which is different from the regular LPE6 version. I'll tell you why in a minute. First, let's have a look at it. It's a regular dummy. We have some specs. Input 6 to 8.4 volts. Output 7.2 volts, 3 amps. The cable is very nice and flexible. Now here's something to note. If you order directly from the Zite website, you can customize the length of the cable. Some of you will probably want something short like this because it's pretty long. Now, some of you are aware that some months ago, I built my own version and I've been using it since then. Absolutely love it. The Zite one finally arrived. Let's jump right into the first test using the Zite dummy. In the camera, I have the Zite dummy battery. As you can see, it has a very long cable. It's plugged into the bottom port. Uh, my motor is plugged into the other port. So as soon as I turn it on, I'm going to start the test uh, to find out how long it runs. While this bit of the video is playing, let me drop the disclaimer. Zite did send me the RS2 dummy. They did not pay me for a video. They are not even expecting a video. They will also be seeing this video the same time that you do. And I'm going to press record and get focus. Links in the description. If there are any, are not affiliate links. And the views in this video are my own. As I mentioned earlier, there are two different versions on the Zite website. The pocket version has the cable just coming right out the top, so it can be inserted into pocket cameras. This is the one I made earlier. Uh, it has some sellotape, you can't see very clearly, so I'll put it to the side and bring in the regular dummies that we know, which are this shape. So you can have the cable come out the top, or you can bend it. And this can now fit into Canon cameras because they need to be able to close the door. So basically, I think Zite should have stuck with this design instead of having two different molds and, you know, two different versions of the LPE6. If you have the Canon cameras, you have to get the Canon version. And for pocket people, you have to get the pocket version. Okay, what's going on this time is I've just turned the gimbal on and I'm going to run it for an hour and then after an hour, I will plug in a power bag to see if it carries on powering. So if this works, you can pretty much power this setup indefinitely. So uh, record and start. After an hour, I will come and insert the power bank. Okay, we've run the gimbal for an hour, powering the camera using the Zite dummy. I have a fully charged power bank. Uh, let's see if you can see that, 100. Uh, okay, fully charged. And now I'm going to insert it into the gimbal. Let's see if this starts charging the gimbal. Yep, light just came on. And this will start charging the gimbal battery. So 7% on the power bank. Uh, 517. Okay, it just went from 5% to zero. Uh, so now, we have a fully charged gimbal. Don't know if you guys can see that. That says 100. Um, yeah, so we obviously have another 90 minutes. I'll just unplug the power bank. 
and come back in 80 or so minutes. So, six and a half hours and the gimbal still has 30%. Well, still has 30% left. Here's the thing. I can just plug in another five and a half hours. I mean, that will make a total of 12 hours plus a charged gimbal. So, uh, in conclusion, do I like this uh, Zite dummy? Absolutely love it, since I've been using a dummy with the RS2 gimbal for a couple of months now. Um, do check out my original build and pop over to the Zite website, grab yours, customized. You can also get these on Amazon, um, so check there first if you need one urgently. A final thing about the length, the website says 21 centimeters. It's not, it's actually pretty long. Um, you can see my original build was about 23 centimeters long. And the Zite one is a whopping 43 centimeters. So if you need a customized length, get it from their website directly. This bonus clip has nothing at all to do with Zite, it's to do with my own version of the dummy battery. New board, new build. I just built this this evening, so I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, hopefully it does. Putting on my Raven Eye. The Raven Eye does power five volts. And this 8 volt going to the camera, well, 7.5 is what it reads. If you want a video on how I made the dual power build, like, subscribe, and mention it in the comments.